Hello everyone, welcome back to Thorn's tutorial. We are on the final part of the wing now, finally. Alright, set up your bands like this, starting with this row, this row, this row, this row, this row, and then these diagonals go last. Alright, so we are taking our wing, and we have six loose ends here. Okay, this one has so I took off the white tying band. So I have six loose ends here. I will attach the ends. Make sure you get all the ends around all the loops. Go around. Okay, this one is a very thick set, so we want to make sure we go through all each batch there. Okay. All right. So now we're continuing to attach these horizontals from the side. Start four, and then we'll do two at a time across, like we've been doing. Let's loop this. So first we want to do this diagonal. Alright, then we can go up four times here. Two, three, four. We'll go up four times here. Alright, so now I'm going to lift up a little bit. Okay, not too much though. Okay. Let's wrap the next set around. And the next. And the next. And the next, like that. So I wrapped the next four sets around. Alright, loop up four, five more times. Or three, sorry, four more times. Okay, lift up a little more.
Get the right bands there. There we go. Okay. All right, tie off the end. We're getting there. We have two more um, parts to do. Okay. Next part is completely red bands down five columns. Okay, so let's attach those five sets. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do before I lift any of this off, or before I loop it, I want to take one of each band, one of each red, and just drop it on the edge like this. Alright, like that. And then let's loop up those four sets in each column. Okay, so I'm looping as if these loose red bands aren't there, but we don't want them to fall off. Okay, and now I'm going to lift up a little bit. Okay. And let's wrap some more. Okay. 
All right, let's put the loose edge bands on again. Isn't this fun? <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll lift off a little bit more. I thought I was missing a set there for a second. Not a good feeling, but it's fine. Okay, let's put the loose bands here, and here, and here. And then we can move that up. After we tie this off, we have one more part to add. Okay. Pull all those loose edge bands out to the edge. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see where the bottom one is. Okay. See where the bottom one is. I'm going to think for a sec. I'm going to go through Yeah, okay. This set, which has the white band around it at the edge here, I'm going to go through those loops. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of each color red, pull it through, reclaim, and tie off. Okay, just like that. That looks like that. Now we have one more section to add. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so go down here, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and then do the, and then do the diagonals. These go last first. That one, then that one, then that one, then that one, then that one. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take.
Let me think for a sec. That. No, that goes down 11 times. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let me just check something. Um, hold on. You can fast forward a little bit if you want. Just checking my diagram. Okay. This horizontal here, let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think this needs to go... Yeah, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take off the top row. One, two, three, four, five, six. I hope that's right. Three, four, five, six, seven. What the happen? Sorry for the confusion. Um, no, we're gonna keep it on. We're gonna keep them on. Sorry. I already did a wing, so I really want this one to be matched that one exactly. That's why I'm taking forever to try to figure out the pattern. But it really doesn't matter for you if this is your first wing because. Um, either way, yours will be the same, but mine, since I already did my first one, I'm being a perfectionist with it, of course. Okay. So this band here needs to move down one. So we're going to move it down... one set. So these two red bands that I just tied off before, we're actually going to move them down a set. Okay. Alright, now we're going to wrap them around here. So we're going to wrap them around here. Okay. All right, and then these next two loose bands will go around these two pegs here. Next two will go around these two pegs here. Next two will go around these, etc. Okay, so let's start with that. We'll double loop the red here and also here. Okay, I'm gonna loop diagonally there and here. We'll go up to here. Sure, this stays around the peg. Okay, just like that. Lift off a little bit. Not too much, though. Okay. Then we'll wrap the next set around the two here, the two there, the two there, 
to there. All right, let's do that. Okay, let's loop these before we wrap anymore. Okay, we'll lift off a little more. All right. Next two go around there. Next two go around there. Make sure they're not tangled up in each other next to go around here. Alrighty. Okay. Yay! Tie off these ends. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Okay, we want to take off all the white bands except for these. Okay, so all the tying bands. So I'm gonna, it's going to take me a little bit of time to do that, so you can do it with me. It's, it's like I missed a loop there. Sometimes that happens. Man, I missed a lot of loops. Courtney, Courtney. Hopefully you did a better job than I did on this.
Man, I missed about five loops here. Erg so far. Always tie them with a tying band and tuck it in the wing. But it can be a pain sometimes. Okay, almost there. Alright, so right now we took all the tying bands off, so it looks like this, okay? We're going to add some veins, and I'm going to do one with you and then have you do the rest on your own, because you just need to see me do one in order to understand it. So, what I'm going to do is the veins are going to go under the claws, or start under the claws, so I'm going to kind of spread these bands apart. So right across from the small claw, I'm going to go into the section in between the brown and the red here. That space there. And you're going to take two brown bands, okay? Pull it through, come out the other side. And the other side I'm still holding with my finger. And then I'm going to count over one and down one. Go through there. Okay. And I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to pull two more through the first two. So it can be a little tricky and it takes some practice to kind of get used to. Pull it through, through the back, and then you're gonna go over one, or down one, over one. Okay, then grab, come out through the other side, grab the loops, grab two more. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. And you're gonna go over one, down one, until you are directly across from the center of the ridge here. So that means I'm going to go two more. Okay. And now here I'm going to go straight down. Okay. So you're going to go instead of over one, down one, now you're just going down one. Gonna keep doing that.
Oops. Okay, here, as I go into the ridge, I'm just going to try to stay in the center as best I can as I go up it. Okay, then you go through the take two and so now I went through the claw here the bottom of the claw take two through and then you're gonna wrap one end around one way and the other end around the other way okay and tug on it a little bit so the brown band stay at the bottom of the claw so that is one vein now you want to do that for the rest of these okay and for these, like for this far one here, instead of going down one over one, down one over one, you go over two, down one, over two, down one, over two, down one. All right, and then just use your judgment for the rest until your wing looks like this. All right, and then you can um, repeat this video and the last two videos. So go back to video three and repeat and make your second wing. So at the end, you should have your head, your four legs, and your two wings. See you in the next part, everyone. Good luck.